Hello, my name is Brian Burke, and I write a book. The Conservative Case for Trump is a 2016 book written by Phyllis Schlafly, Ed Martin, and Brett M. Decker. It was written for much the same purpose as Mrs. Schlafly's 1964 book, A Choice Not an Echo, but for a different candidate in a much different era. The Conservative Case for Trump argues that Donald Trump was a natural choice for conservatives in the 2016 election cycle. It extols his virtues, though perhaps is a bit unwilling to name his vices. The threefold authors of this book cover a number of topics that they believe qualify Donald Trump for the presidency. Apparently, America generally agreed, as here we are in 2019 with Trump as president. The contents include immigration, trade, judicial activism, and education, among others. One of the major selling points of Trump is his insistence that our immigration system is broken and in need of repair. Who can blame him? We allow people to violate our borders and face minimal repercussions. The book argues that Trump would return immigration standards to an America first focus, truly an admirable goal for an American leader. We have seen over the past couple of years an attempt at doing so, though much effectual change has been stymied by the political left. One issue that is left out, however, both by the authors and indeed often by Trump himself, is that our method of legal immigration is faulty and in dire need of overhaul. Our lottery system is at best inconvenient, making it unclear who we are looking for. Having standards of immigration would give prospective immigrants a goal to achieve prior to immigration. Then meeting a relatively high standard would require them to have skills that benefit the U.S. on net. Many nations already have a requirement for integration. <coughs> Canada. The U.S. following a similar system would allow immigrants to help us help them. The authors also argue that Trump's philosophy on trade deals would be more beneficial to Americans than anything his predecessors did. Schlafly and companions believe that the free market only works when everyone plays by the rules and that Trump should engage in protectionist policies. I believe the authors called this one correctly as we see that Trump has done just that. While I would agree that a complete disregard for trade warfare is naive, Schlafly's hope and Trump's reality have been perhaps a bit too trigger-happy with the protectionist policies. However, it is clear that Trump's trade philosophy is markedly an improvement over that of his predecessors. On judicial activism, the authors of this work make clear that they believe Trump when he says that he would appoint judges that honor the Constitution who aren't going to read into our founding documents things that are clearly not there. On this point, at this time, no one can argue that Trump hasn't exemplified his promise. For education, Trump supports school choice. This is actually personal for me as I was homeschooled and that is definitely what was best for me. After all, I did get to start college a year early because I could start school a year early. School choice advocacy is actually argued to be one of the best ways to increase legitimate learning and reality would generally agree. The final point I wish to cover is Trump's advocacy of the supremacy of the US military. Under Obama, the US military radically shrunk, which I and a large number of others believe to have been a mistake. Heck, the Reagan administration proves this was a mistake. The U.S. can only be at peace when no one questions our military superiority. The conservative case for Trump argues very clearly and very persuasively that Donald Trump is the closest thing to a second Reagan that Republicans were going to get in 2016. The time since then seems to vindicate this view, making never-Trump Republicans look like petulant children. I would recommend the conservative case for Trump for anyone, regardless of political philosophy, to better understand how this larger-than-life man could ascend to the presidency and blow away everyone's expectations against all conventional wisdom.